Boston. In this small rural town in Lincolnshire, a series of very macabre events took place. This was the start of the most brutal murder scenes since Jack the Ripper. No one ever knew that this would be the town of a serial killer. This is the story of Robert D. Roy Butcher. As every child, he just wanted to make friends. But strangely, no one wanted to pay attention to this boy. This quiet boy sought love, joy, friendship, and a caring hand to wipe away a tear from his cheek. A guide through his early life, but everywhere he turned, he was met by rejection. As every child, he just wanted to make friends. But strangely, no one wanted to pay attention to this boy. This quiet boy sought love, joy, friendship, and a caring hand to wipe away a tear from his cheek. A guide through his early life. But everywhere he turned, he was met by rejection. Actually, Robert was really one of those sort of people you don't see a lot of. He was fairly quiet and didn't really bring a lot of attention to himself. He wasn't particularly bright but never really caused a lot of trouble and, and didn't really seem to have a lot of close friends, didn't really make a lot of friends with anybody. I think we all know that um, all young people at school misbehave at some point in time and, and do a few little things. I mean, mm. One particular thing that springs to my mind is was in the canteen one day when some of the boys stole his dinner. He, he didn't get violent or cause any problems. He just didn't do anything. He, he just looked at the floor and that was all he did. Well, most, most people would react and, and would have a negative reaction to it, but his reaction was just to go to introvert and, and just let it happen around him. Six months after his 23rd birthday, his mother died. For the remainder of that year and for the years that followed, he became known for the killing of loving mothers and was ultimately looking for the mother he never had. Well, he was a very, he was a very quiet lad, really. Uh, just, he was just living in that house over there and basically he, he was always going with his mum to the shops, but he never really came with any friends or basically anyone like from school, just like a day in the park, just it's always just been him or his mum, and that's why he's always been out. That's like his only reason to be out because of his mum, and that just and plus he was really quiet as well. I don't hear any disturbs or any disruptions. Just just really good neighbours, and and he was just really quiet. His first crime was committed in an alley at Boston College. That's when she heard the sounds of shouting and crashing crates. She saw a man at the top of the lane and started to run from him. But the man caught up with her. There was a struggle as he put the blanket over her head, then threw her into the back of his car and strangled her. with the fear still in her eyes. His killing became more brutal with each kill. He was developing a split personality disorder. He didn't appear to care where he committed the murders the locations varied and were unconnected. However, there was a connection with the murders themselves. All were executed in a similar way. Each crime he committed was brutal and heartless. And some chilling information suggests 
that he got pleasure from a ritual he performed after each murder. Robert's case was very unusual. It was different than anything I'd ever dealt with before. He had a split personality, so you were talking to two people. And in my opinion, there are two tragedies here. There's the obvious tragedy of innocent people being killed, the emotions that that has uh, caused their family, the pain. But there's the hidden tragedy of a young boy that was ignored, tragic circumstances in his life that petered him off the edge. The first kill usually is similar to uh, some kind of tragedy in their life. It might be a father or a mother figure uh, and they choose their victim uh, almost to match that person. Uh, in their minds this is justified, completely justified. Could you ever suspect that he would become a serial killer? No one could have suspected that. Robert will never be safe enough to be uh, released. Uh, in his mind, everything he did was justified. Uh, he can't see he's done anything wrong. Robert was eventually caught by the police, releasing the people of Boston from their terror and removing a murderous butcher from their streets. And so Boston has gone back to being normal. But that still leaves the question of the court's final decision. Was he a butcher? Or was he a victim?